Hi, it's been a while since I sat down to write my thoughts out and share them with you and just dig into where we are in life lately. Recently, my phone has been reminding me of our bus beginnings, which were six years ago, if you can even believe it. I'm not sure where time is going lately, but it seems like life has been moving faster than I can keep up. Zalia has been growing like a weed and preparing for kindergarten, so I have been running around looking at schools and trying to find ones that are a good fit for our family. I had no idea that this school thing would be such a complicated process, but it is. I applied to a bunch of charter schools over the break, which are all a lottery-based application, and we got into a few, which I realize now is quite lucky. So I'm grateful to have so many options. One couldn't be more perfect. It's a Waldorf education, and that really feels like the best move for our family. The school application process honestly has been weighing over me. The responsibility of being a mom and doing the best you can to choose the right schools and environments for your little ones is so hard. Is there even a right or wrong choice? I try not to, but it's hard to not use your own life experience as a frame of reference. And not having gone to school in the States, I have no idea what Azalea has ahead of her. But no matter which doorway we go through, Azalea will bloom into herself and evolve through her life with her childhood memories and experiences that will have helped to shape her into who she will become. So I'm just really sinking into this. School is just one part of life and family is another among many other life experiences that we get to expose her to. What are you guys doing? We're trying to see if we can birth some Birds oh, and queens. That's okay. Should be. Now we got to go do it. We have to go get a. Let's go get a napkin and wet it, and then we'll be done. We gotta plug it in so it'll be warm. Now the bees can't get your arm. A lot of work to do. When to put me. It's bag, babe. See this pokey part? What I do whenever I'm trying to get a frame unstuck, these aren't very sticky because the bees haven't been in here for very long. Did you count all the bees? No! Ah, that'd be crazy, right? A hundred. There's a lot of them. They're all, they're actually all girls, too. Everybody in the whole box is girls? Well, I don't know. We might find a boy bee. I'll let you know if I see one. You gonna hold it? Put your hand over here. Now. Can you get the leaf up the tree? Next thing you I'm gonna have to scoop you. Are you an evaporating? Now you notice how these cells... Hey Rodney, come back here! <laughs> Rodney! <laughs> <laughs> now you see these cells here? There's baby bees underneath these cells. I'm just trying to give me a kiss. Hey, look! No! You... The Chestnut Collective for Moonflower Child has been evolving as I share monthly live gatherings to encourage creative exploration and holistic wellness. I've really needed this outlet to connect, share with others, and have a greater sense of purpose in what I share. Social media has felt overwhelmingly repetitive and is changing so quickly that that too has felt like a world that is just really hard to keep up with. I just want to create what I want to create and share it with others. I don't know if anyone else feels that way and maybe it's just me, but I don't want to be put into a box or a mold. I just want to create what feels right in the moment and share when it's right. The good, the bad, the in-between. 
I recently took a girls trip up to the mountains and it was amazing to have our girls together and connecting and offering each other support. Well, we made it to Brooks Casa. We're all cooking up some dinner, chilling, having a nice girl evening. It's raining outside, so not really doing much outdoor things today, but just having dinner. It was like a four and a half hour drive up here, so a bit of a trip. Um, and it's just one of those gloomy, stay inside, be cozy kind of days. So here's a little ode to some positivity from Brooks Five. And if you remember, Brooks used to live in our, in our house in our my old studio or my current studio which was this bedroom it's a whole thing but she used to live in our house so you might recognize her it's inspiring to see how others choose to live and what gets them jazzed every day to live that fulfilling life it's really invigorated me to get back on track uh, for my path of authenticity that i really found myself meandering away from so here's to strolls in nature, peaceful moments, and regaining my center. As for a house update, I have been painting doors, doors, and more doors. It's been so rewarding to get these finishing touches done and see the house coming to the end of its renovations. I still can't believe that we bought this house sight unseen and just took a dive. It's definitely been a huge learning lesson with house buying and renovations and just life in a house in general. We had lived in the bus for four years and didn't have any furnishings or home goods other than what fit in the bus and my grandmother's chairs. So it's kind of wild to see how we've grown into the space over the last two years. I know many of you have not understood why we're planning to move out and sell and that video will come in time. There's a lot to share and I'm sure you'll have a better grasp and understanding to our reason for moving out. Well hi, today is a very crazy day because we've received so many application acceptances into some of the children's schools in the Triangle which is all very exciting. I will share more about life and all the things but since we're moving out of this house, we haven't decided if we're gonna rent or sell. Um, that's a thing. But today I'm gonna to take some real estate photography pictures. And Justin and I have talked a lot about just wanting to go into real estate a bit more, maybe getting into rentals or house flipping after we get done with this one, now that we've learned so much about real estate flipping as well. So I'm gonna take some pictures of the house. It's not gonna be clean for very long and I just quickly tidied. I have a friend of ours who is a real estate agent and she has a client that might be interested. So I figured this is a really good opportunity to take some pictures of the house, mark it as a beautiful moment, a memory of it being so clean, um, and also practice doing some real estate pictures. So let's get into this thing. I have been having fun taking photos, documenting the process, and just admiring all the beauty that we've poured into the house for ourselves to enjoy and hopefully whoever the next person and family will be to also enjoy this epic home. Recently, I have felt incredibly called to paint something other than the house, to express my emotions in art. I have had a deeper, darker landscape brewing in my mind especially with the cold winter days dragging on and being home alone most days, really feeling stuck renovating, which has kind of made me feel lonely and is just a very repetitive daily routine. Releasing thoughts that have been weighing on me into these paintings has been a powerful release and I've been really enjoying digital art and just art in general. I feel a deeper connection to myself and my soul when I can just create something beautiful. And that is the true power of art therapy at its finest and the benefit that I reap from it. So what's left to say really? Life has been a bit of a hamster wheel where each day has been a similar sort of routine. Monotonous if you want to give it a label. Maintaining our home, walking Odin, taking care of the laundry, watering the plants and all the little elements of life that help to create the life that we are currently living. 
While some days it can feel exhausting, other days it's incredibly rewarding. Each morning I wake up, take a few deep breaths and have been reminding myself to have a positive thought or intention for the day before I step out of bed and grind on. I've been wondering what I've been waiting for as though to reach some sort of milestone and have the feeling of being alive when in reality the milestone is this life that I'm living right now acknowledging being alive and experiencing the early blooms of spring and exploring my creativity, fostering intimate moments with my husband and just watching my daughter grow. So to myself and those that are living in a low moment of life, this too shall pass. And you'll look back on the hard times, proud to have made it through. Not to forget all the beautiful memories sprinkled in between And of course, those monotonous life moments that, let's be honest, take up the majority of life. It's really the outlook, how you choose to live in joy or in sorrow. So remember, it's all good. Stop and smell the roses. Take a moment to breathe. and really feel the gratitude for the opportunity to be living whatever this wild adventure we call life to be. So here's to another day on this floating rock in space.